Hi everyone, we're going to finish up ellipses by uh, finding important information like the center and the foci and the lengths of the major and minor axes uh, and drawing the graphs. And these are where the centers are not zero. The, the video we did before are where the zeros are zero. So we can just make sure you know what all this means because we um, this is going into, it's getting a little harder here. All right, so the first problem is here. We already know that the center is your HK. Um, in this case, our center is going to be 3, 1. That's your center. And we know our A squared um, equals 36. Your A is always your bigger. Number B squared is 1. Because these two numbers are so far apart, we already know it's going to be skinny. The major axis is going to be on the y-axis because the bigger number is under the y. Our c squared is going to be um, a squared minus b squared, which is 35. I just subtract these two. And then I know my a equals plus or minus 6. I'm just taking the square root. My b equals plus or minus 1 and my c equals plus or minus square root of 35, which is very close to 6. Okay, so let's draw it and then see if we need to answer anything else. Yeah, we have to uh, find the lengths of the major and minor, but let's draw it first. So my center is at 3, 1. Okay, so from here, right here, what I'm going to do is go up 6 and I'm going to go down 6 from my center. Alright. Also from my center I'm going to go over 1 to the right and to the left. That's your plus and minus 1. And I'm going to try to attempt to connect this it's really skinny. It's a standing up egg. And there you go. Uh, I can't draw. Anyway, there it is. Now my foci is really close to the 6 here. It's on the y-axis. i draw it here and here. Now, I'm going to write my center here. My foci goes to my major axis, so what I'm going to do for my foci is write 3, 1 twice, because we're going from our center here. And what I'm going to do is add the square root of 35 to it, sub subtract the square root of 35 from it. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So that's my foci. So before it was easy because we had 0, 0. In this case, it's not that easy. So there's my foci. I have my center. You can also do your endpoints the same way, but you can just look at the graph and do that too. Okay, next one. We have our center is, maybe I should write on this side, uh, negative 4 negative 3, and my a squared, so I know I'm going to be over here, negative 4, negative, I'm going down, thank goodness. So my center is going to be right there. My major axis is my x-axis, so x, let me move this over, move it over, so a squared equals 49, so a is plus or minus 7, uh, b squared is 25, so b is plus or minus 5, and c squared is 49 minus 25, which is what? Uh, 24. So c is going to be um, square plus or minus square root of 24, which is very close to 5. Okay, so this is my center, and I'm going to try to draw this. 
Okay, so from my X here, from my X, I'm going to go to the left and right seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw a big point there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be a sleeping egg because the major axis is on the X. And then from my Y, I'm going to start from my center and go up five. One, two, three, four, five. And down five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to draw it in. It's really uh, close here. So there it is. And I know the length of my major axis is, uh, I think we forgot to do that on the other one. Length of the major is 2 times 7, 2A, which is 14. And you can see it here. We're going 7 this way, 7 that way. So 7 plus 7 is 14. And for the minor axis, we're going up 5 and down 5. So this is the major one here. Major equals 14. The minor equals 2 times 5, which equals 10. Now, for my foci, what I tend to do is I write down my center. My foci, first of all, is very close to 25. So it's right here. I'll put it in black because it's important. It's very close to that. And I, I just drew that close from the center. And what I do is I write my center down twice. I know I'm going to be adding to my X. And I'm adding the square root of 24. Now, if your teacher wants you to simplify square root of 24, that's going to be 4 times 6, which is 2 root 6. So we're going to add 2 square root of 6. We're going to subtract 2 square root of 6. Or you could have just put square root of 24 there. And I think we got everything. And there's your ellipse. And it's not that difficult. You just have to be very careful here with the foci. Also your endpoints. Um, you have to make sure you're adding endpoints to your new center. Okay, here's one where we have to complete the square. And so... Um, we're going to do this, and this one's a little different. What I'm going to do here is factor out a 4. We know what an equation of the ellipse is supposed to look like. We already talked about completing the square earlier. All right. Now, on this side, when I put my square here, I have to uh, say 4 times the square. Because if you distribute the 4, that's when you... Whatever you put in here, it's 4 times that. So half of 6 is 3 squared, and you get 9. So we're sticking 9 in here. All right? Now, um, we simplify our um, perfect squared trinomial, which is going to be y squared. Whoops, not y squared, but y plus 3 squared equals, and this right here is 4. So what I'm going to do is divide everything by 4 to make it fit our ellipse. And I'm going to get x, this is actually x minus 0 squared, over 4, plus y plus 3 squared over 1 equals 1. Now it fits into our, our formula. So our center is going to be 0, comma, negative 3. So our center is right here. My major axis is my x-axis. So a squared is 4, b squared is 1, so c squared is 3. For, uh, remember, the formula is a squared, I mean c squared, 
equals a squared minus b squared. All right, and our a, therefore, is plus or minus 2. Our b is plus or minus 1. And our c is plus or minus square root of 3. So from here, I'm going to go over 2 on my x to the right and to the left. Get my little endpoints here. And on the y, I'm just going up 1, down 1 little small thing here. So the length of my major axis is 2a, which is 2 times uh, 2, which equals 4. You can see it. It's going up over 2, 2 there. And the minor is 2 times 1, which is 2, and you can see that My foci is on the x-axis, so we're going, uh, square root of 4 is very close to 2. I mean, square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 3 is very close to that, so I'm going to put it really close. doesn't have to be perfect. And now I have to write down my foci. So, like I said before, I um, write down my center twice. You could actually just put plus or minus in there. And then I'm adding um, plus square root of 3 and minus square root of 3. So if I simplify that, my foci is uh, square root of 3, um, negative 3, and negative square root of 3, comma, negative 3. And if you want it, you could just write your foci as plus or minus square root of 3 negative three. And that's all, and have a nice day. The next thing we'll be going over is ellipsis. Take care. The next thing we're going over is hyperbolas. Take care. Bye.